So, my first uh, video for a, a request a request video. Yeah, uh, few of you asked uh, about this uh, Metalex Vermastop uh, that I bought as, as a heat protection. Uh, as it states that it uh, can surpass the or withstand temperatures of, of up to 4000 degrees. I have to tell you this is my first um, purchase of this, this material. I haven't tested it before and yeah, so this experiment is good for me too to see what's what's going on and when, when something uh, like this is applied. In instructions, I think it's, they say up to one centimeter. Uh, yes. Cover all parts which should be protected with vermish top up to one centimeter thickness according to the temperature. Okay, what's the temperature? They don't say. After soldering, simply rinse off with water. Okay, so the uh, cleanup should be quite easy. I believe in electronics you should use uh, alcohol, but okay, let's see. So let's add, I have this fancy setup. Here are some solder uh, metal, met, metal pieces. And I have this wire that I will burn definitely. But let's try to add big gunk of this Thing. and I have my multimeter let's set it on, on the temperature and yeah what do we want to test let's test temperature beneath next to the wire beneath this this uh, protective gunk okay so I'll Try to spread it a little bit, just to have better protection from sides. Okay, something so it's not centimeter till the wire, but something similar. Uh, if in electronics it's quite difficult to, uh, let's say, cover only needed parts, so I think maybe you should need to use the this 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 um, captain tape to isolate it from sides or that was what i was thinking to isolate uh, sides with the captain tape and cover the plastic uh, pieces with, with this uh, protection protective uh, protective uh, gulk how do you call it okay so fancy setup is done now let's, I'll, I think I will set it up at uh, 400 degrees and maybe not something at uh, airflow, something at the middle of, of it. So let's see what will happen. Okay, 400 degrees. It's building up. 200. 300 and 250, 270 and 400. So let's try to. Oh, okay, so this is too big for sure. Maybe let's add it a little bit slower. Oh, okay, so the setup doesn't hold. See, folder goes out. What happens here when you heat it up? Well, it stands very good. Forty degrees. I 
Okay, it starts to rise, but still, comparably, as you can see, the still going. Okay, it starts to peel off, maybe because the silicon is pushing it up. So maybe that's... I should try completely cover it into the... into this... protective thing. Okay, let's, 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 let's do something with this thing first. Not to burn my house. Let's get the temperature off. Mm -hmm. And let's see what is here. Mm -hmm. So it got a little bit stiffer, something like a. Oh, but so it's quite flexible. Okay, so the temperature sensor was, if you will see it, maybe a few millimeters away. Okay, so let's maybe try one more time with the sensor covered completely. So the thicker side up and back to, to 400 degrees. Three hundred eighty, four hundred. Let's see. It changes a little bit the the the. the surface it's not not shiny it gets a little bit okay but it doesn't hold uh, so it stays liquid that's that's for sure it stays liquid heats up a little bit uh, as you can see I'm trying to heat up only one part okay something's dripping Okay, so the surface starts changing. It's <laughs> yeah, difficult to, to explain what's what's going on. Okay, so the wire got heat up a little bit. I can feel it's warmer. And this is yes, it started to burn the surface, but uh, back down it's still uh, still liquid. I think. Or should be liquid. Yeah, that didn't. Okay, now the temperature started to rise again. 120. Yeah, 410 degrees. I set on the air uh, solder. Okay, so I think it dried out, yeah, and uh, that's why the temperature started to rise much, much faster. So, okay, let's see what's what's inside. How do you say it? And yeah, maybe clean up a little bit. So this is, as you can see, liquid on all parts. This got solid surface is at least solid. Here it's gummy like, but it got much more solid than this. So you should apply quite a lot of it. So I think this distributes the heat, and and maybe uh, because this uh, liquid is something that dripped out, it uh, got got burned from um, yeah. Yeah, but inside it's still soft. 
still soft inside and the temperature sensor was saved how do you say it <laughs> okay does it function at low, low level mm. yeah more or less yeah so that's it i think here yeah, maybe we could try to dissolve something this piece of it in, in water to see how it behaves in water okay so yeah it washes out feeling is a little bit oily Yeah, it didn't wash out completely, it's uh, something a little bit oily, but but it dissolved more or less into the pieces and it's, let's see what, after, let's clean it with some good paper. Yeah, so it's quite... It removes quite quite easy. It's not like oil, uh, real oil, but but the feeling was slippery and a little bit like oily. So, but but uh, after cleaning the paper, it's completely off. Okay, and what about the burnt one? Okay, so the small piece that's burnt. Yeah, it behaves similarly as, as the uh, not uh, hard one. It dissolves and, and washes off. So uh, a little bit slippery. So yeah, nothing, nothing, no, no big difference between hard and, and soft state. Uh, yeah, not sure what could I show you more. So if you have questions or, or yeah want some part two of this experiment give me a few comments and yeah I still have quite a lot of it <laughs> I can make uh, one or two experiments to see uh, how it behaves in, in, in different uh, situations so that's it for a uh, um, free advertisement for this uh, stuff uh, I will see how it behaves and I will be working on, on uh, some electronic uh, parts that will need protection but for now this uh, thing uh, I would say it proves its, its, its uh, advertisement uh, it doesn't say for how long uh, it will withstand these uh, 4000 degrees and so on but as you saw you need to uh, preheat it quite a uh, long time for with direct 400 degrees to it for it to change its its consistency and uh, yeah um, and protection was still quite good uh, you do need to cover it at, at least one centimeter or even thicker if you need better protection but yeah, even electronic parts can withstand 100, 180 degrees without any problems. So, yeah, okay, so uh, give me uh, in comments your thoughts. Is it a good stuff or, or, uh, or, yeah, or, or you need some other experiments? And I will try to fulfill it. Thanks.